Are you afraid of stepping out of the box and following your passion? On this episode, Adrian shares his journey to becoming a YouTube content creator. He shares that when he started, being a content creator wasn't so common, and people just didn't understand his passion. He says, do what you want to do and live your life to the fullest. So please stick around and enjoy the show. And welcome to another episode of Coffee with Tea. I'm your host, Tanya Tyler, and I'm excited because we're going to be talking to Mr. Adrian Smith, and he's going to be filling us in on how to find out what you want to do and don't be discouraged by those who maybe don't believe in your passion right away. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Mr. A- Adrian Smith. Welcome, sir. How you doing? Well, it's a pleasure to have you on. Yep. I like this is my first time ever doing something like this, so I'm excited to see like how it's going to turn out. Right, so, right. Yeah, <laughs> well, sure. thank you for being a guest. Thank you for coming on. I know you, you've you been a YouTuber, so we're going to connect because I've seen that you've had a YouTube, um, I guess, story way back in the day. So without further ado, I'd like you to like tell a little bit about who you are, tell about your journey and how you got to where you are right now doing what you do. Okay. Uh, I'm Adrian. Uh, I'm 22. I'm a, uh, I live in Cincinnati, Ohio. That's where I was born. Um Pretty much what I am is like a content creator. So I don't like limit myself as like just a YouTuber. Because if you just do YouTube, then you just like to like one thing. And I like to do a lot of different stuff. So I would say I'm a content creator. Uh, I got introduced on YouTube probably my first ever like time on it was like 2012 or something like that. Um, but I always deleted channels, made new channels. Uh, so I made the one I'm on right now. Uh, a lot of Adrian, I made that in like 2014 or 15. Uh, wasn't very consistent starting out. Probably upload a video like once every few months and then just disappear. But like the past like two and a half years, I've been more consistent and I'm like seeing the results from being more consistent. So I think I'm going to stick with this one now and like put more effort into it because before I was super lazy. So, <laughs> <laughs> But you're finding yourself. So, I mean, you can't really knock it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so sometimes I, it takes a few tries and a few attempts to try to get it right. But So, you know, I, you said you're a content creator. We're going to get more into what that means and stuff like that. But for those who are, like, not really familiar about, um, like, how you got into it, what was the passion behind you creating your channels? What was the, what was the thing that you were thinking about when you started doing your, your, your channels and stuff like that? Uh, I would say it's just, like, a way to express myself. So, like, everything on the channel is, like, me in real life. So it's not like I'm stepping into an act. It's just like I'm being myself, like 100 percent. So like just seeing other people doing it and seeing them like having fun and being successful at it inspired me to like try it. And like I can do the same thing, too, because I'm like like most of the people on there were like it's like I used to watch like skits and stuff. So they were acting like how I naturally act. So I was like, I can just do this naturally. I ain't got to do nothing extra. So that's what I pretty much was doing, just being myself on the camera my true pure self so <laughs> and you and I know you invited folks in to, to help you so um what was your biggest when you started you weren't really worried about fear right I mean you didn't have this whole concept of oh my goodness people are going to talk about me or, or anything like that what what helped you get past that I mean you know some people won't even get started because of their fear so. yeah so when I had first made my channel it was in high school so I was in like 10 for 11th grade when I made my, the, a lot of Adrian channel, but it was like called something else. But I was like high in my channel because I didn't want nobody to see it. First, like when you were in high school, you don't really want people. And then that was like the unusual thing to do. When I had a YouTube, nobody like like everyday people wasn't making a YouTube channel. They thought that it was like something weird or something like that. So I was high in my channel. I wasn't showing nobody. I ain't posting no links nowhere. Uh, I was just uploading by myself. But eventually um, somebody had found it. And they spread everywhere. So they were just showing a bunch of people. And from there, they, people was talking about me. They thought it was like weird, you know, but I wasn't very good when they had found it. So the videos weren't very good. So, but they can see it now for sure. Now they ask for help now. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> 
So your your skits, where do you come up with your creative process on it? I mean, you said it's like real life. So, I mean, do you like like find things that you've experienced in life and just add a skit onto it? Because I've seen a couple of your videos, like when you went into your, you know, you do the um, the, the challenge when you go to the thrift stores and stuff like that. So oh, yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah. a few of your challenges. So how do you come up with your skits? I mean. uh, So most of it. So I do like some stuff that's like just good ideas that I think of. So I just do stuff like that. And then I also like doing like um, some educational stuff, too. But the way I do it is it's not like I'm sitting there like trying to tell you what to do. I make it like funny and entertaining. So I'm just being myself, like conveying like what I'm trying to like teach the person. And it comes out funny and it's super successful. So that's how I do it most of the time. But I try to think of stuff that people aren't really like doing or like stuff that I just find like something I would watch if it was somebody else. So. So you're basically creating the content that you wish you could see. It's, yeah. It's what I'm hearing, right? Yeah, that's really how you have to do it. Because you got to, like, think. Because everybody on YouTube, you got to think, like, what would they want to see? Like, what would somebody want to learn right now? So when I do, like, my workout videos, I'm like, well, if I was somebody trying to work out, what would I search on YouTube? Then I make that video. And since then, like, I done grew my channel a lot doing it that way. It's been working a whole lot better, so. Right. So I, I, I like what you're going with this because like I, I, I'm studying. It sounds to me like you study your craft. Mm-hmm. So you know why you're going to be making the video. So you have some kind of like intent behind what, what you're going to do, correct? Yeah. So you just don't just throw up videos and it's like, hope it, hope it sticks, right? Not now. You did it. No, because- not, not now. It got to make <laughs> sense. Yeah. So I got to I gotta post it to make sense. I don't want nothing that nobody can watch because then I'm pretty much wasting my time at that point. So. It got to be something that people want to see and want to sit down and watch, whether it's like right. something you can learn or entertaining uh, to watch. So, <clears throat> OK, I, well, we're going to dive a little bit more into like how you got into this. I'm um, getting past of what doing what you do, because like you said, you're already doing what you're doing. So you're you're like you started in high school. Now you're into in, in college or where are you at? Um, at well, at? I would have like graduated college. So I left college. So I would have graduated in 2020 so last year so what made you i mean i you know i i'm curious i'm an interviewer so you know <laughs> I was, what made you drop out of college because it's like so i went for one year so what i had went for it was like it was like a program where you like go into like video photo um like stuff like that but it was already stuff i learned how to do for free off youtube so, like, when I was going to class, they was teaching me stuff I already did. Like, I already had videos up. I already was editing my own, like, thumbnails, pictures, stuff like that. So, I'm like, I'm paying y'all 10000 a year to teach me something I already know. So, I was like, this can't work. And then I just knew, like, deep in my head, I was like, even with this degree, it's going to probably be hard to get a job no matter what. So, especially last year. If I would have graduated last year, I would have been super mad. <laughs> Somebody would have had to see me. <laughs> For sure. Well, for I want to always hit too, because I, I, those who are picking up the the the, um, the gems that Adrian is dropping, please hit the like button and follow up with a comment. But I also have to let you know I do know Adrian because we had a little history with our family growing up. Mm-hmm. So I knew you had dropped out of school. My my son already told me sort of why you did it, but I wanted to hear from you officially why you did it because yeah. I already I heard that you already had more no, more knowledge than you paid. So. I, that's yeah, why I asked. Sure. Yep. <laughs> Set it up a little bit. <laughs> Set it up to ask. So you said, um, don't limit yourself. So what are some of the recommendations for those who are like struggling to figure out what they want to do? Do you have any recommendations? Um, I would say don't let like outside forces like convince you to do something. So when you graduate high school, you know, I'm like 17, 18. And then by the end, like people are already like, well, what you going to do? What you going to do? And it's like they forcing you to make a decision on like something that should come naturally. So then you get forced into a situation where you can't get out. That's where a lot of people go wrong. So say if you don't know what you want to do and they forcing you to go to uh, nursing school or something like that, go to nursing school. And you're like, all right, because it's like the safe route. But it's not deep down. You don't really want to go there. So you go there, you go in four years. You finish that, but now it's like you don't even want to do it. You already spent the money. You're already in debt. So now it's too late, pretty much. So now you're working to pay off the debt, 
And then, like, once you, like, fall into that trap, it's no coming back out. So that's, like, my number one piece of advice. I would say don't worry about trying to do stuff, keeping up with everybody else and, like, making people happy. I would just take a year or take multiple years because at 18, you got a lot of life left. People don't die until, like, they, like, 70-something. So (laughs) (laughs) you got, like, 50 years, 50-something years. So. You got plenty of time. Right. And that's what I kind of did. So I love it. I love it. So you said now people are, sounds to me like you're switching gears to entrepreneurship. So now you're, are you like teaching? You said a little bit, you're teaching people how to um, get onto YouTube. Is that a little Um, bit about what you're thinking about going towards? Yeah, I think I, I think that's something I could definitely do. Like I'm helping people I know, like with YouTube. So like, I know a guy that lives in LA, he's a producer. Um, but he wants to get on YouTube too. So I'm like trying to help him too, giving him advice. And then it's another guy that I used to, um, that used to train me. He's trying to get on YouTube too. So I'm helping him, but I'm like, I help anybody that wants help. Cause it's like, I've already done it. And I know like the shortcuts, so you don't have to figure it out. I know the stuff that can get you like a head without having to like try and try. So I'm willing to help anybody. Uh, but right now I'm just teaching people like young people, stuff that can self like uh, set them up, stuff like credit, Stuff like saving money, um, staying healthy, stuff like that. That's what I be posting on my YouTube uh, for the most part. But all right, all right. Is there uh, anything that we haven't covered that you'd like to address that maybe we haven't addressed, or is there some <laughs> really important message that maybe we didn't cover that I haven't hit on yet? Um. Oh, something else I would uh, uh, like get at people that want to figure out like what they want to do. The number one thing that you should do is look up your life path number. So it's something called a life path number. So it's made out of your birthday. So it's pretty much like a, it's kind of like a map of like what you like, the purpose, like the theme of your life. So Mm -hmm. it's like a, you take, you got to like add up all the numbers of your birthday and it give you a single number. And like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show like 30 people this and it's accurate on every time. So I know it's real. So you get the number and then once you get the number, just search it up on Google, like life path, so-and-so, and and then look it up. And I guarantee it describes you down to a T because it's, I don't know what happened, but it's real. It's like almost like people do astrology. It's like more accurate than astrology. It's crazy, but life path number for sure. Definitely. I'm taking that down. Yep. Get yours when you get off here. Oh, I definitely. Yeah. I don't want Yeah. (laughs) For sure. It'll open your eyes up. Right. I know we're at the end down to the last couple of minutes and stuff. And I really want to thank you for um, all the, the insight that you, you're, you're sharing already. But what's mm-hmm. like one, the one takeaway, if, if nobody else heard anything that you had to say today, what's the one thing you want people to take away from what you're sharing today? Uh, I would say find yourself, uh, be fearless, uh, try new things. So keep trying like me, if I don't feel so many things and I'm still failing to this day. Like the, this shirt I'm wearing is like an old merch shirt. Probably sold two of them. But I fell, I fell like time and time after again. So keep going. Um, do what makes you happy. Try new things. Travel the world. Meet new people. Stuff like that. I would just say don't ever like get too comfortable or too complacent. Uh, and just keep going for the most part. Is right. That would be my message to people. So. Right. My bad, my phone started ringing. <laughs> no problem, no problem. <laughs> oh, Mr. Adrian, where can people find more information about you, your channel, and, and um, really how to connect with you? Um, so my Instagram, Instagram probably be the best way through Instagram DMs, uh, at a lot of Adrian, so A-D-R-I-A-N. Um, that's my YouTube name too, a lot of Adrian. And that's really like the two that I use the most. So Instagram and um, Snap or not Snapchat, YouTube. I keep you know my what? Snapchat private. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're good with that. Yeah. I, you know what? I thought uh, we have a couple of minutes too. And I I forgot to ask because we were going to go back to the subject. So, you know, this is me failing and failing forward. So yeah. you said you, you, we talked about YouTube, but we didn't really talk about your content creator. So what? What's the difference between you doing YouTube and being a content creator? What is, what's that? What's that all about? Uh, I would say content creator is just making stuff like various types of like stuff. So not just YouTube videos. 
uh, making like podcasts, stuff like that. Like you are a, po- a content creator. Like if you making merch, uh, podcasts, um, like a book, anything like that, that's all like content to me. So YouTuber, that's when I hear YouTuber, it's like you stuck on YouTube and you trapped. So content creator, that could be various things. It could be music. It could be podcasts. It could be books, clothes, um, websites, blogs, anything. So that's like the difference between the two. I'm glad you cleared. And I'm glad it rem- I should write that down. You know, I, I forget about these things. But, um, <laughs> I'm glad you cleared that up because, you know, like so I guess now that um, podcast is really like going across all platforms. So yeah. what what is your future like looking for? I mean, what what do you want uh, to continue on? Are you branching more just to stay with YouTube, or do you? What's your vision? Where do where do you see yourself going with this? Uh, so I think right now I'm gonna stick on YouTube. So my next thing I'm gonna do is um be fully employed on YouTube full time. And I think once YouTube is gonna o- open up doors to other stuff, so then once the YouTube following is there, now I can get like merch. Then I can get like um, if I want to do like a podcast or whatever it is, branching off. I think that'll open up the door. So the key right now is just YouTube um, and that'll open up all the doors. That'll give me like the freedom and the finances um, in order to do other stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now. So YouTube. OK. All right. Well, c- continued success. And uh, like I said, I think we covered everything about, um, you know, don't don't. Don't let your fear keep you up. Yeah, for sure. I guess that's what you're saying, right? Yep. Don't let nobody. It's a lot of dream killers out here. So (laughs) it's people that they don't believe in themselves. So they try to rub it off on you and don't let them do it. Because just because they like gray and they ain't got nothing to them. That don't mean it could be you. Just brush it off and you just got to go way harder. That's a lot of people out here that are just they see you trying to do something and because people, they got an image of you. So say if it's somebody that you know your whole life, they got an image of you. So say if you grew up with them, all they're going to see is you as that friend. So if you're trying to be like somebody, like a global person, they ain't going to see you as that. they like, what? We used to ride bikes. <laughs> you can't, you're you not about to be global. And that's how it goes sometimes. Like same thing like parents and stuff too. They see you as like, I used to change your diapers. You're not about to be no star. <laughs> that's how it goes so don't let other people's insecurities rub off on you for the most part i love it i love it and again i want to thank you for having your time coming on and checking out you know connecting with us and letting you know what's going on with you it's always a pleasure to talk to you yeah for sure and i want to remind everybody who's tuning in that feedback is always welcome email us if you have any guests or show ideas links to all these the uh, sites that adrian will be mentioned will be posted down in the description box so please make sure you check out those gems below if you enjoyed this video you know give us a thumbs up let us know follow up with a comment let us know what you're thinking smash that thumbs up and remember if you're enjoying all the sites you want to continue seeing what we get hit that subscribe button over there and remember take things in stride go with the flow and create your own path and we'll see you back here on another episode of coffee with tea all right bye bye Hi everyone, this is Tanya again, popping in to say thank you for listening to today's show. Coffee with Tea interviews are always free, and if you're enjoying the wisdom and insights that are being shared, please stay and grow with us and show your financial support. You can buy us coffee or become a monthly supporter. Links are posted in the description box. And again, I wanted to personally say thank you for tuning in.